Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about creating hierarchies in SAP business intelligence. So what are hierarchies actually? Hierarchies are a way of organizing your data. So in this picture right now in front of you, what you see here is a hierarchy which we use to organize a sales representative. So we have different hierarchy nodes. So the first node is the sales region. So for example, so for example, I have put in here three regions, which is Europe, Middle East, and Asia. And under that node, each of them have different nodes as well. So in this case, we also have sales country. So under the Middle East, we have the United Arab Emirates, UAE, Oman. Under Asia, we have Pakistan and India. And under Europe, we have Germany. So in this case, our sales representative, let's call him John Smith for now, is a German. And he's organized under the sales country Germany and under the sales region Europe. So, so let us dive into the data warehousing workbench and see how we can model this hierarchy. So here we are at the data warehousing workbench. I have already created a couple of info objects to, to start up. So we have the sales rep ID, the sales country, sales region, and this is the sales representative. Actually, this is going to be the one that comes with the hierarchy. So to create a hierarchy for the sales representative, what we have to do is first of all, specify what info objects will be used in that hierarchy. So in this case, our info objects will be the sales country, the sales region, and the sales rep ID. So these are all the nodes that will show up in the hierarchy. They are also info objects. So to do that, you will right click on the info object and click on change. So on the, when you click on that, on the left, on the right hand side, you will see the properties of the info object. So this has a long description sales rep with hierarchy it's a it's an info object of type character with 20 characters of it, which is 20 characters long so here if you look on the so here we have a hierarchy tab we have to select with hierarchies to specify that our info object actually comes with hierarchies we have a button here which is called the external characteristic so this is where we will select which characteristics will show up in our hierarchy. So if you click on that, you will see that I have already added the characteristics that should show up for the hierarchy. But let's say, for example, this was empty. So let's remove those. So you would need to select your info objects. On the left hand side, we have all the info objects which are present in the system. There are actually a lot of them. So for now, let us search for the info objects which we're looking for. So the first one is the sales representative ID. So the name of that is the sales RP. Click on continue. Now it has found now it has found the info object which you're looking for. So we'll click on the arrow to add it to our list. Now it's there. So we'll do the same thing for the sales country and the sales region. Click on continue. It's been found. Click on the arrow. Now for the sales region. and now we're ready so we can continue so all the info objects which we need for the hierarchies namely the sales country sales region and the sales representative are now are now present in our hierarchy so the next step is actually to go and input some data which will show up in our hierarchy so we'll see that in the next video.
But before we do that, we have to save our changes. So we click on check and activate. So now our info object is active. So the next step is actually to put in some data, which will show up in our hierarchy. So in the next video, which I'll be making, I will show you how this is done. So for now, thank you for listening. See you in the next video. So welcome back. So in the previous videos, we created three info objects and the fourth one, which will represent the hierarchy. And we also added the hierarchies and we also added the info objects, which will show up in the hierarchies. So now we're going into the real deal, actually creating the hierarchy. So we select our info object and right click and select create hierarchy. So we're going to give that a name. So we click on OK, continue. Now on the so now on the right hand side we have so now on the right hand side everything looks empty. But then now we can add our info objects to actually create the hierarchy which we want. So if you right click here, anywhere here, and select insert characteristic. So now we will actually add our top hierarchy nodes. Our top node is the sales region. So now we're going to add that node. The info object sales region had a technical name Z sales region. So now we're going to search for that. Click on continue. And then it finds the data which we put in in the previous video. So if you remember, we have three regions Asia, Europe, and, and the Middle East. So we can select the checkbox to choose which regions we want to add. You can also click here to say select all. So there we click on copy to put this in our hierarchy. So those are our sales regions showing up here. But then under each sales region, we can add the hierarchy node below that, so which is the sales country. So if you right click on that and select insert characteristic, and then we can actually choose the info object sales country. So here are the countries which we chose. So we can select them and copy that into our hierarchy. And then we have all five countries in here. But, but now we want to rearrange the countries on the, the correct hierarchy nodes. So we, can now, so we can now drag and drop the countries. So if we select Germany and drag that to Europe, now it's under Europe. You can do that for the Middle East as well. So we have most of our hierarchy set up. So we have the sales country, sorry, the sales region, and then the sales countries under that. The last node is for the sales representative. So now we're going to add that as well. So the sales representative, let's just say he was German. We will select insert characteristic and then, and then search for the technical name for the info object. That's John Smith. Copy that and then we are done. So this is our hierarchy setup. The picture which we wanted to model was this three sales regions with five sales countries and then one sales representative, one sales representative which is under the sales country Germany. And you can see here that we have modeled our hierarchy accordingly. So all we have to do now is activate our hierarchy. So first of all, we check it. There were no errors found and then we activate it. So our hierarchy has been successfully activated. So, so that was a video showing you how to set up hierarchies. Thank you for listening. And if you want more videos like this, 